Hello and welcome back to Ancient Dragon Lord Minecraft Tutorials. Uh, in this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to build this house here. It's actually the house I built in Skyrim using the Hearthfire DLC. If you haven't uh, checked it out yet or got it, you might want to do so. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, for this build, you're going to need your stone brick stair, uh, stone bricks, uh, stone brick. Uh, your Akasha wood, if you're using on the most uh, recent update, but I'm actually using a um, texture pack edit of the nether brick, so I can also get the stairs and slabs. So if you want this uh, texture pack edit, I'm not sure if I can, but I'm going to try to put up a download if you want this particular one. Uh, that's all we're going to need for now, just your wood and your stone brick stairs. So first off, we're going to place a block, then go two out, then go three, place another block, and go two and place another block. Then we're going to come out to the side, go three, block, three, block, three, block. And we're going to repeat that for the other two sides. So you have this. Then we're going to go ahead and bring all those up to five. So one, two, three, four, five, and do that all the way around. Just like that. So now we're going to go around and fill all these up with stone brick. Uh, not to the very top. We want to leave at least one. Row. We're going to leave one row free. So you have this. Then you want to go around and fill all this up. Whoops. Uh, with your log, or in this case, I'm using nether brick. Okay. Now, if you're using this John Smith texture pack, you really, if you're not using it, you really need to get it. But if you're using it, you want to get your oak wood and your birch wood. If you're not using it, use whichever combination of wood you think looks the best. Just try not to use the single wood, or if you like it like that, it's completely up to you. And then we're going to go ahead and fill the whole floor in with oak. So like that. And then we're going to come from where we have the two. This pillar here, and we're going to start knocking out this strip of oak. Sorry about the lag. <laughs> there, and every pillar we're going to knock out the block, blocks. So we're left with um, a six by six here and nine by nine in the center, just like that. And now in all these gaps, you want to go ahead and place your birch wood, just like that. Then you want to come down here, uh, choose which side you're going to be a front, and for this case it's going to be this side. And we're going to knock out the center post or pillar. Whoops. Place it with our whichever wood or texture you used. And also remove these three. These are going to be your doors. And for this, I'm going to place birch here. And place the nether brick stairs here. Okay. And we're going to do that on the other side as well. So I did that on both sides, except on this side I left out the stairs. Because this is going to be connecting to our main hall. Now we're going to start on the roof. So you want to come over here, get your wood or whichever you're using again, and from this last post, we're going to start bringing the roof up. <laughs> come on, all the way to the center. Oops, now we need that. Also bring this one up. Get on the other side. like that and then you want to do whoops first I forgot to mention we need to put um, a beam across here so from this pillar and this pillar whoops and then we're going to go ahead and put a roof support on this beam this beam and this beam just like that now we're going to take up your spruce wood and start putting it across like this. We'll start putting it up here first. I'll only do one side of the roof and then I'll skip the video and do the other side. So just bring this right across. Now you want to do this for the whole roof. So just like that. Then we're going to come to the front of your house 
and we're going to create an overhang. So just bring everything out by one. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and fill this in with uh, stone bricks then you want to take up your stairs and start putting it across the roof like this only on the overhang so where we did the overhang we're going to put the stairs on and we're going to bring it underneath like this Whoop, come on and like this. Whoops. And for this part here, we're just going to place a block here and a block there. And we're going to do it on the other side. Just like that. And for this part here, we're just going to add upside down stair here, upside down stair here, right way up stair here, and like that. Just to create sort of, sort of a Viking horn looking uh, thing. And we're going to come down to one side and place stair upside down stairs like this. And then we're going to knock out this block, this block, this block, and that's it. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Then we'll get our stone bricks, uh, sorry, nether brick, come up two, then up one, up two, whoops, that's right. But make sure you do it on the upside down stairs, not like what I've just done. <laughs> on the upside down stairs, guys. So, like that. And you want to get your spruce and bring this out. Make sure it creates an overhang. Like that. And get your stairs. And bring it up like this. So it creates this window. Now you could put something here like this. Whoops. Upside down. And like that. And then bring this log back here. All the way across and do the same for here and do this on the other side that's it for part one tune in next time and we'll start building the main hall thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe